We respectfully request the Sangha Grey Virtues for the sake of this assembly and all living beings. Please turn the wonderful Dharma wheel to teach and guide us how to end birth and death. Leave suffering and attain peace, and quickly realize non-birth. Homage to the Blessed, Noble, and Perfectly Enlightened One. Namo Sadanto Sujedo Ye La Hari San Miao San Puto Sye. Namo Tanaka to Yadaja La De Tamir Tambuda Twa. The unsurpassed, profound, subtle, and wonderful Dharma in a hundred thousand million eons is difficult to encounter. Now that I'm able to see and hear, I will receive and maintain it. I vow to fathom the dust come one's true and actual principles. Wu shang sheng sheng wei miao fa ba he qian Wan Jin An Zao Yi Wo Jin Jin Wen De Shou Chi Yen Jie Ru Lai Chen Shi Yi O Buddhas and Bodhisattvas, Great Master Ting Liang, Great Master Shun Hua, all good monks and nuns and all good new advisors and Medopo. Chu Fo Pusa, Ching Liang Ta Shu, Shifu Shang Ren, Go Wei, Chu Cha Ren, Go Wei, Shang Tu Shu, Medopo. He for put up into Tandung Dai Shu, took the Hua Quita Kova, everything she took on your effect. Uh, hello everyone, today is the uh, in Korea, the 24th. Of April 2023. We're here uh, at Jewel Conk uh, to continue discussing the six, the uh, first chapter of the Avatamsaka Sutra. We're currently on slide 119. Thank you all for joining us. This will be our uh, last lecture event here in uh, Korea. And next week, we'll, I'll be back in Los Angeles. Well, oh, yeah, it seems like five of the people in Los Angeles are welcoming back. <laughs> I'm so touched. <laughs> okay, let's go into it. Celestial King, vast, pure brightness, gain a passage into liberation, observing all sentient beings who are ready to be transformed and leading them to enter the Buddha Dharma.
넓고 크고 깨끗한 광명처 나무는 교화를 받을 수 있는 온갖 중생을 관찰하여 부처님 법에 들어가게 하는 해대문을 얻었다. 广大清净光天王的观察一切应化众生令入佛法解脱门 Did we discuss this? It seems look, we didn't finish it. Okay, uh, we'll finish it. Pick anywhere you like me to start. Okay, how, I think we, we, we started to talk about uh, this thing and uh, I think it's just mentioned a couple concepts here. Sensing beings are ready to be transformed. This refers to one of the spiritual penetrations that the Mahasattvas and the Buddhas have. 이것이 그 부처님과 마하사리 가지고 계신 신통력 중에 하나입니다. To be transformed, to transform living beings, what does it mean? 중생을 교화한다는 것은 무슨 뜻일까요? To transform is to make something appear that wasn't there before. It's like magic. Uh, so, uh, so, so you. This is a nature of uh, the teaching. The good teachers. Uh, transform us, like Master Shrinha, he can transform us. Mm. So, uh, personally, he, he uh, uh, did a great transformation to me. For which I'm very grateful. Uh, he uh, transform me from someone very nasty, very selfish. But after encountering Mahayana Dharma, uh, I was to become a different man. I can be nastier and more mean. <laughs> I'm told. See, in a way, it's improvement, yes? <laughs> you look disappointed. <laughs> Transformation is not necessarily always good. But in particular for Mahasattvas, the one, uh, when they talk about transforming living beings, It usually means that the living beings become better themselves. Hmm. So they bring out the goodness, uh, the greatness in living beings. So that's why. Uh, that's why the job of the Mahasattvas and the Buddhas are very, uh, very delicate because they need to uh, change ourselves for the better. How they, what are they looking for? Are they hoping to achieve? Fundamentally, uh, they're helping us become less selfish. Uh, because that's what worldly people are. They're very selfish. All they can think of is themselves. And so, and by learning Buddha Dharma, we're supposed to forget about ourselves. Mm. But the key here 
is not only to be able to transform, but is a part of the spiritual penetration. Is to it's about timing. They know when we're ready to be transformed. 그것도 신통이 중요한 게 교화 일뿐만이 아니라 그 시간 타이밍이 중요합니다. 우리가 언제 교화될 수 있는지 그들 알고 있습니다. Yeah, I heard the word timing. Yeah, timing of the, is of the critical importance. You have to have the proper timing. 왜냐하면 이 타이밍이 아주 중요합니다. 왜냐하면 여러분이 적절한 시점에 어, 시간에 그래야 됩니다. Because the process only works at that moment, not before, not after. Uh, so it's like a flower at its, when it's at its peak, it's most beautiful. And so living beings are the same way. In order to transform them, you have to know exactly when to do it. And that's what Mahasattvas do, like Master Shenhua, he does that. Yes? Master, so does it, does it mean this one is also certain teaching? Yes, that's part of certain teaching. Mm, a certain teaching. Um, this is uh, this uh, this um, this um, this particular celestial king vast pure brightness is, um, I believe, is a Mahasattva, and therefore, Mahasattvas at his level, uh, who when they talk about uh, observing sentient beings, so he looks and he can see. Okay. Uh, and he has the spiritual power to to have the exact timing on when to teach them. And that's the nature of certain teaching. And leading them to enter the Buddha Dharma. I think that's why I left off the last time. How do you lead them? How do you lead living beings to enter the Buddha Dharma? Okay, United States, the Koreans are sleepy. It's 10 to 5 here. Uh, how about the rest of you? How do you Americans lead living beings to enter the Buddha Dharma? Besides using your hands. Yeah? How do you do that? How do you lead your son to enter the Buddha Dharma? Might be of interest to you. Go for us. Master, I think last time Master said is to increase the faith of, of the living beings so that they can enter the Buddha Dharma. Absolutely. I answered, I answered myself already. Okay. Uh, you enter the Buddha Dharma uh, as per the Avatamsaka Sutra, the only way to enter the vast and profound ocean like Buddha Dharma is through faith. Mm, so, so you basically 
Uh, the Buddhas and the Bodhisattvas help us develop our faith. Okay, it's not, there's, there's really no other way to do it. Because if you give uh, living beings only candies and promises, money, uh, I remember there was a, there was a Sri Lankan uh, young abbot from uh, Colombo, I believe. It was a, who used to live at my temple, going to university there. And uh, although he's young, he had, uh, he had his own column in the uh, newspaper, and uh, his temple is pretty big in Colombo. And he used to tell me that uh, on Sundays, in order to draw people to come to the temple, he had a big Dharma protector. Who, uh, who, is the, who owns hotels and properties throughout the East uh, capital city. And so they would, uh, on Sundays, the young abbot would speak Dharma to them, but uh, one of the draws was that um, the big Dharma protector would give him funds to sort of give money to the participants, to the people who come to the temple. And that's how they lead them to enter the Buddha Dharma. Okay, uh, what do you think? You too, go ahead. Thank you, Master. Um, first of all, I would like to express my extreme excitement that you're coming back to Los Angeles. I want to say it softly so as not to wake up the Koreans and let them know you're leaving too soon. <laughs> we have a YouTube comment from Diego Alfonso. Diego says, Amitofo Master, I try to be an example, trying to be better every day, and then when people see the change, I can open those conversations about the Dharma and Master. Okay, so what do you think? It's a good way to pay people to come to the temple. Why not, if you can afford it? Hmm? We don't pay you, but we'll give you free food. <laughs> Not always as good as a barbecue here in Korea. Tea is not as exciting as uh, the other drink. So whatever. Uh, when developing faith here, it means that you do use any experience to lead living beings into the Dharma. 
Oui, Mao. Thank you, Master. Uh, I have a I have a question about the Mahasattva who's observing living beings for the proper timing to apply the sudden teachings and transform them. Okay. Thank you, Master. When when the Mahasattva is observing us, um, are, is he observing us all the time? Because in, in America, we have a pretty well-known uh, ad campaign. Uh, that ad campaign is uh, what what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. So, do we ever get like time to just be humans, or is the sudden teaching going to always happen at any time? Thank you, Master. What do you think? Is it 24 hours a day? Does one Yin Bodhisattva observe us 24 hours a day? No, she doesn't. She says, Mahasattva, what's her Dharma door? She says, if you are in trouble. If you really want my help, and you decide to ask me for help by calling out my name, I come running. She doesn't, doesn't observe for 24 hours a day. So whatever you do in Vegas, Peter stays in Vegas. <laughs> so easily happy they are. <laughs> All right, now we feel more secure. <laughs> it's, it, to us, it's a violation of privacy. I don't know about you, but to me personal, it's a violation of privacy. You don't violate people's privacy. Hmm. Even though, in, in, to me personal, even if you're ready to be transformed, does it give us the right to transform you? No. No, I you. Okay? You, you can't. What do you do even when, when living beings are ready to be transformed? What do you do? You wait. Like one in Bodhisattva, she patiently sits there and waits until someone says, please help. Even if they're dying, they're supposed to call, us for, call her for help, she says, I can't, I have to wait. So please, please be careful. Uh, don't make the mistake of helping before they ask for it. You have to be patient. In, in particular, when it comes to your loved one, it's very hard for you to sit there and see them suffer. Uh, 
But you can't intervene before they ask for it. Go forest. Hello, Master. I have a related question. Uh, in a lot of sutras, it's mentioned that the Buddhas and Bodhisattvas protect and be mindful of us. Uh, in that context, is that the protection and mindfulness 24 hours a day? 그래서 여러 경전에 보면은 불보살님께서 어 우리를 어 보호해 주고 위험한다 이렇게 나와 있는데 그건 24시간인가요? 무르즈 모리스 파자 사바 돈 게트 슬립. 불보살은 잠도 안 자나? What do you think? 어떻게 생각하시나요? 어 uh, that Sounds like a constant protection, not in demand only. 그거 같은 경우는 요청했을 때만 아니고 어 일, 하루에 24시간으로 들리는데요, 저는. I guess so, but what did you do to pay for it? 그렇게 어떻게 그러네요, 그러면은. 음? What did you do to deserve it? 근데 나는 돈만 그 어, 돈을 내도 준 것도 아닌데 여러분이 왜 자격이 된다고 생각해서 뭘 했길래 자격이 되죠? First of all, 첫째로, Buddhas and Bodhisattvas, unlike us, they don't have a notion of time. 우리하고는 달리 불보살님은 시간에 대한 개념이 없습니다. The notion of time arises because of confusion. 시간에 대한 개념은 that's why we discern between morning and evening. For the, the enlightened beings like the Buddhas and Bodhisattvas, they have no such differentiation. It's not 24 hours. But then it's also 24 hours because there's no notion of time. 그렇지만 그래도 24시간입니다. 왜냐하면 시간에 대한 개념이 없으니까요. All right, so the answer is, is yes and no. 그래서 대답은 그렇다도 되고 아니다도 됩니다. Yes, you can be assured that the Buddhas and Bodhisattvas are always ready to to teach and transform us, but no, they don't do it 24 hours a day. 우리를 교화할 준비가 The way you think. 24시간 되어 있지만 또. So the answer is not the way you think. The time notion is not the way you think. Ah, your yeah, question is getting too detailed. I'm not sure I, my answers are any good anymore. Okay, so the main point is not 24 hours a day. The main point I want to talk about is how do you lead them to enter the Buddha Dharma? 중요한 얘기는 하루 24시간 한다는 게 아니라 그들 어떻게 해당에 그들 어떻게 불법으로 들어가게 하는가입니다. So I just talked about the way to be asked. Yes. You can't force yourself upon them just because it's good for them. We can't. We can't do anything. 그 중생에게 이게 좋다고 해서 강요할 수 없고 어 그들이 물어볼 때까지 기다려야 됩니다. 우리가 그렇게 할수 없습니다. Tao is in some cases um, the Buddhas and Bodhisattvas uh, appear and, and help us. Because they're mindful and protective of us. Okay, so how... How so? Because we planted causes for that. How? For example, you give me an example. You recite on Sunday mornings. In the Amitabha Sutra, it says what? 
If you recite the Amitabha Buddha Sutra, all Buddhas throughout the ten directions are mindful and protective of us. That's what it says. That's what made me so excited. I said, wow, this is so cool. All I have to do is recite the sutra. And then they know about me. I don't need to make any donations. <laughs> yeah. yeah, cool. So it happens because we planted. We, we, we planted the causes for them to be mindful and protective of us. It means lifetime after lifetime after lifetime. All right, and so, uh, so that's why in the notion, even the notion in twenty-four hours is uh, still too limited. All right. Y- yes. Master, yesterday we had a refugee ceremonies. If uh, people take refugees to the Buddhas and Bodhisattva, also protect and uh, be mindful of us 24/7. 질문은 어 우리가 어제 귀의식을 했는데 귀의를 해도 불보살님들께서 우리를 항상 보호하고 생각하는지입니다. Only the ones that we invited. Yesterday during the ceremony, we invited who? Who did we invite? Let's see, Shakyamuni Buddha, Amitabha Buddha. Did we invite Medicine Master Buddha? No one paid attention. Huh? Well, she says uh, all Buddhas from ten directions are written there. Okay, okay. (laughs) (laughs) So what does it mean? It means that since they came to the ceremonies and and they did come to the ceremony, uh, then they know about us. Uh, and therefore, uh, they, uh, they, we are connected to them until the end of time. Until you decided to renounce them and say, no, no more. But otherwise, they'll be watching over us. That's what they commit to doing. They'll be watching over us, and like Celestial King passed through your pure brightness here, and they'll be waiting for us for the for the time to teach and transform us. Wei Mao. Thank you, thank you, Master. Thank you for explaining it um, this way. It's very helpful for me. Um, so, so I understand, if I say it back, uh, what you mean is if a thousand lifetimes ago, uh, I was a participant in a Buddhist ceremony. Then, for a thousand lifetimes and however long it takes, I'm on the Mahasattva and Buddha's radar to help, correct? That's correct. Until one day, again, I stress, one day, 
all you have to do to get off the radar is say, no, I, do, I no longer believe in Buddha Dharma, in a Sangha. In the Buddha, so leave me alone. So it continues, lifetime after lifetime. You know, to me, I know my wife has me run so many errands every week. So I feel like that's a very compelling case for in this lifetime, just at least run one more errand to a Buddha temple and get on their radar. Better yet. What's better than that? Is the failure of you towards your wife. But what's, what's better than that? What's better than that is that we go to the pure land where we are always on Amitabha Buddha's radar 24 hours a day until we become a Buddha ourselves. In one lifetime. Hmm? Why do you keep making them wait? You really believe. I submit to you, you really believe in this Buddha Dharma, then go to the Pure Land. Because that's what you do. Once you get there, you will cultivate and cultivate naturally until you become a Buddha yourself. That's what happens in the Western Bliss Pure Land. You cultivate and you cultivate until you become a Buddha yourself. One lifetime. You don't have to go to work anymore. You don't have to take care of your spouses anymore. All you do is cultivate. Listen to music, it's still cultivation. You eat the fine food, it's still cultivation. You won't get fat either. Eat all you want. Wouldn't that be cool? No one is excited at all. <laughs> yeah. Oh, now, yes. Ah, 네, 저는 그 이런 경우에 반대되는 경우, 그러니까 마하살이 저희를 좋게 이제 교화시키는 것에 반대되는 경우에 대해서 좀 여쭙고 싶은데 그러니까 어, 악마나 어떤 이런 나쁜 것들이 우리를 안 좋게 만드는 것에 대해서 I want to ask you the opposite case of Mahasafa help us for example regarding like some kind of evil force like a demon 어, 그러니까 어 어, 저는 이제 최근에 제가 원하는 것보다 다른 사람이 원하는 것을 주는 것에 대해서 열심히 해보려고 노력하고 있는데요. Want, 그래서 주말에 절에 있고 싶을 때에도 어, 가족들과 시간을 보내려고 어, 하고 있습니다. Instead of coming to the temple on the weekend. 그래서 어제도 어, 정말 오랜만에 남편이랑 영화를 봤는데. For example, yesterday I went to I watched movie with my husband after a long time not doing it. 그 영화가 존 위크 포였어요. 존 위크 존 위크 시리즈였어요. 네 그래서 yes. 그게 이제. 
없었습니다. <웃음> 없습니다. 어 그래서 근데 그 영화 보고 나서 제가 어 굉장히 매닉이 되는 것을 제가 느껴 경험했거든요. 그래서 네 시간 동안 결과 부자를 하고 그리고 두 시간 만트나를 하면 하고 나서야. <웃음> Recite the mantras for two hours after that. 그러고 나서야 아, 좀 정상적인 상태가 되는 것을 느꼈습니다. 그래서 그래서 이런 종류의 것들이 어, 저희를 어, 나쁘게 하는 것인지 궁금하고. So I wonder if those kind of things make us bad. 그래서 이런 것들을 좀 피해야 할지 어, 알고 싶습니다. 감사합니다. I don't know. Should you boy? I don't watch movies anymore. Huh? What do you think? It's always a trade-off. You you cannot you cannot uh, expect to help others and not pay the price. There's no, no such a thing in life. You want to help, you have to pay the price. You can't say, I'm doing a good deed, and therefore why is a bad thing happening to me? Like a doctor healing someone. And she says, I'm healing, I'm saving someone's life. Why? Why am I suffering? Hmm. It's because someone's supposed to suffer. That's law of cause and effect. That's how nature balances itself. Hmm. Meaning that someone's supposed to suffer. And we provide relief to the patient so that the patient suffers less. If the, suf- if the patient suffers less, is that fair? Is it fair to the ghosts who are behind your suffering, find the patient suffering? So if we only protect the patient, relieve the pain, and then in favor, in because of that, the ghosts don't get their satisfaction. Is that fair to the ghosts? That's not how it works. You, you, if uh, you, you can't, you can't simply say, "I'm helping," therefore, therefore, I don't have to suffer. Just remember, if you help someone, you're shouldering the burden. Therefore, you must carry the weight. Meaning, you have to suffer on their behalf. No two ways about it. Unless your body, Buddhas and Bodhisattvas, they operate in a different way than we do. Okay, so if you want to make someone feel better, you have to pay the price too.
All right. Next. Um, next slide. At that time, celestial king, bright banner of delight in the Dharma, received the Buddha's awesome spiritual power, universally contemplated the multitude of the heavens of blessed vastness, the heavens of limitless vast vastness, and the heavens of vast fruition, and spoke the following verses. <coughs> Okay, next slide, 121. This, uh, the first thing you should notice is that this uh, one of the celestial king. He started, he's going to start saying some verses. And the reason he's able to do that is typical of what happens in the Avatamsaka Sutra. He's able to do that because he got assistance from the Buddha's awesome spiritual power. So even though it is a celestial king who spoke the verses, actually, is the Buddha's wisdom behind it. So that's what happens in Buddhism very often. Buddhas are helping the, Buddha, the Bodhisattva, Mahasattva, do the work. And, and the nature of the help, excuse me, is that no one really knows. Okay, so that's, if you want to help, this is the ultimate form of helping. You help and no one knows. And you suffer quietly without thinking twice about it. That's how you become a Buddha and a Bodhisattva. Right? So, now, he universally contemplated the multitudes of the heavens, of the fourth Dhyana heavens. So now, he leaned, relied on the Buddha's observation power to observe uh, his territory, his domain of the fourth Dhyana heavens. And this next piece of observation, you notice that in Buddhism, we're very precise. We know our geography. Our territories. So only in Buddhism we have this layout, especially in Avatamsaka Sutra, it lays out where living beings are. Uh, so this particular here, the, the fourth Dhyana heaven, uh, the fourth Dhyana heaven. Uh, so there, the what it consists of, uh, and uh, geog uh, geography wise, and also who's there. Uh, and how do you get there? As compared to where we are to, uh, here in the Saha world. For us, for those of you who are new to us, uh, we are in the human realm. Uh, it's called the desire realm where we live. 
So your investments in your real estate properties belong to the desire realm. 이렇게 해석합니다. Okay, all your money is invested in properties here. 여러분이 돈에 투자를 하면 이 욕계 부동산에 있는 겁니다. What people don't realize is also another realm called form realm. 사람들이 잘 모르는 게 세상에는 어, 색계라는 것도 있습니다. And you get there by Uh, you 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 get to go to go there and live there by the virtues of your samadhi level. 여러분의 삼매 단계의 덕으로 인해 여러분이 거기 갈 수가 있습니다. Okay, and and so the form realm has says you get there by being in the first dhyana, second dhyana, third dhyana, or fourth dhyana. 그래서 여기에 어디가 포함되냐면 초선, 이선. And the fourth yana is the top of the form realm. Okay, and so this fourth yana here, uh, actually, uh, now the, the 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 top of the fourth yana has three heavens. So this. Celestial King here observed all the living beings in those three heavens. 그러니까 이 천왕은 이 세계의 천상에 있는 모든 중생을 다 살핍니다. Uh, uh, what's it like to be there, to be a, a celestial being in those three heavens? 거기 세계 천상에 있는 천상 존재들은 어떤지 아세요? They gave up joy and happiness. Meaning that they no longer are attached, they no longer are seeking joy and happiness. 그들은 더는 어, 즐거움과 행복을 쫓지 않습니다. And that's how they got up there. 그렇게 그들이 거기 도달한 것입니다. So that's why we describe to you these geography and these beings and uh, and what they are exactly to tell you. The flip side of life, that is, if you want to be there, this is the price. If you Go to life and expect and uh, and expect to enjoy drinking and eating and so forth. 여러분이 거기 도달하기 원하면서 뭐뭘 마시고 먹고 하는 걸 좋아하면. Then that's why you're here in the desire realm. 그래서 여기 여러분이 욕계에 있는 것입니다. Hmm? If you give up some of those selfish desires, then you have a chance to go into the form realm. 도달할 수 있습니다. By giving up some of those desires, pleasures in the desire realm where we are. 우리 욕에 있는 이 욕망과 그런 욕심을 좀 버리면 그렇습니다. You gain stature, become loftier. 여러분이 올라갑니다. 그 지위를 얻습니다. What for? 뭐 때문에 그럴까요? Give up some, but you gain more. In other words. 예를 들면 여러분이 포기하는 것은 좀 있지만 더 많은 걸 썼습니다. The celestial beings are not stupid. Remember that. 기억하세요. 여기 있는 이 천상 존재는 뭐 They they wisely give up certain things in order. 현명하게 have a better life. 포기하는 게 있습니다. 더 좋은 삶을 위해서. Hmm? And that's what they go through this process. From the desire realm, they go to first dhyana, and that's how they escape and go into the form realm. That's what happens to people when they meditate. Okay, they before meditation they have some soju. 
They, what else do they do? I don't know. Okay, and they enjoy that. They love it. They feel that's a good life. They don't realize when you do that, there's a price to pay. There's some after effects. After the Zoju, after the is uh, aspirin, because you have a headache. No? See that? So in the desire realm, we have some pleasures, but then we don't realize we're overlooking that there are some consequences. One of these days when you wake up and say, wait a minute, I want to be... You know, I want changes. I've got to be better than this. And then he decided to give up, you know, let's say, drinking. And they meditate, and then that's how they go into first dhyana. And then what happens is they are less attached to food and drinks. This is what happens. I don't know. I, I know it's not fair to you, but for the normal people who tune in, who, who don't practice like you do, I give you the analogy of a runner. Do you jog? <laughs> Koreans only walk, they don't jog. <sighs> Never mind, okay, forget this example. <laughs> my, what I mean is that I, I used to remember my personal case where I enjoyed uh, imported beer and steak and so forth. And an occasional glass of red wine. Mm. Uh, and then one day I decided to take up uh, jogging. Because playing tennis and, uh, and then uh, couldn't have any stamina, enough stamina to run around back and forth, back and forth. You know? And so I said, well, I have to jog. Does it look good when you're in shorts and, and uh, <laughs> normally we wear clothes to cover our body, you know? <laughs> but uh, when you wear shorts and you have t-shirt, you don't have a whole lot, and you can, you can hide. So, uh, so I decided to take up jogging. And uh, and uh, uh, to help with the, with the playing tennis. I started jogging regularly, and naturally, I have no more desire for the beer. I suddenly discovered beer. My body rejected beer for some reason. It's a natural thing, you know. You see what I'm talking about, all of you? Huh? As you develop samadhi, naturally your body rejects certain things. So that's what happens. Uh, when you practice, you naturally, your body rejects certain things because it doesn't find it attractive anymore. Aha, uh -huh, we have a commentary here. 아, 저도 사실 그 소주 마시는 걸 좋아했는데 명상하고 난 다음에 그술 마시는 게 점점 싫어지는 느낌이 네? 어떻게 된 거예요? <웃음> 어, 그, 그래서 요즘은 굉장히 drinking as much as before. 굉장히 그좀 신기하게 느꼈었는데요. I feel it's very interesting. 어, 명상을 하면 할수록 그술 먹고 싶은 생각이 계속 줄어들. I, the more I meditate, my desire to drink is lessened. Mm -hmm. 
So my point is that you feel is worth it or not? 그게 그만한 가치가 있나요, 아닌가요? 예, 충분한 가치가 있는 것 같습니다. I feel it's 예, more 그, than, uh, yeah, more than uh, 그, worthy, worth, worth it. Precisely. 맞습니다. And that's the nature of wisdom. 그게 지혜의 특징입니다. The wisdom is that you choose to pay a price to get a bigger deal. Okay, so you give up drinking beer, but you actually feel better than drinking beer. 맥주 마시는 것보다. 근데 그 의도뿐만 아니고 몸에서 좀안 받는 것 같아요. 뭐라고요? 그러니까 제가 선택하는 것뿐만 아니고 몸에서도 잘안 받는. Only choose not to drink as much, my body rejects it. That's right. That's and, right. And once, once, once you get to that level, that means your body is so sensitive that contrary to the dietitians and scientists and food nutritionists, your body knows better. It says beer is toxic to my body. My mind likes it. You say, ah, I feel good. <laughs> I forget about everything. Yeah. But guess what? The body says, uh, I don't like this. That's what happens to you. Okay? So it's a natural evolution for you. You don't need to, you don't need to force it. That's what happened to these beings, okay? And you get, you understand more about, you learn more about them. Who are they? What they do, okay? Uh. So my point here is this. When you're there with these living beings, these, uh, these, uh, these, um, uh, celestial beings, they naturally feel more joy and happiness. By giving up joy and happiness. Okay, and therefore, therefore, the teaching is that you have information here to decide for yourself. If you're a third dhyana and you want to go to fourth dhyana, what are you supposed to do? I figured this out very, very early in my career because no one taught me. I realized I was a third dhyana. I was frightened out of my wits. Because third dhyana, people feel very happy. And that's why they get stuck. Every day they wake up and say, I feel good, I feel good, I like this, I like this. Okay, and that's why lifetime after lifetime, they get the third dhyana. I was so frightened, I said, uh-uh, I'm not... I spend the rest of my life in third dhyana. What am I supposed to do? I'm sharing with you my fear. Back then I said, who do I ask? Where can I get help? Who can guide me? No one. No one cared. No one idiot came to me and said, you have no self. Why are you so selfish? I said, because of me. I can't be anyone else. Why are you beat up on me? Why are you so mean to me? I couldn't understand it. 
I was second Diana. And the idiot says, You have no self. I said, What has to do with me? I'm full of myself. To tell me I have no self is totally helpless. It's, it's, it's nonsense to me because I'm full of myself. I, that's all I see, that's all I understand. It's you who are stupid. And that's the difference between contemplating and see when they are ready to be saved, to be transformed. You don't beat up on people, hurt them, because you're right and they're wrong. You're an animal, you like that. There's no wisdom at all. So at the time, I said, I'm third Diana. What am I supposed to do? To escape my lot. No, I don't want to be stuck here for the next hundred lifetimes. I don't want to come back here and be a monk again and again and again and again. If you would, I'm special. I'm so happy. Look at all these unhappy people. Boy, am I glad I'm a monk. I'm so, look at her, how unhappy she is, how depressed she is. I feel so happy. And that's the dangers of being third dhyana. Till I said, how am I going to get out of here? Right here, in the sutras. When I was supposed to be taught, I wasn't taught. So I turn to sutras. It says, I feel happy. I feel joy every day. So what do I do? I will not be attached to this joy, to this happiness I feel every day. That's how I escaped. Two and a half days. No one taught me. It's just the, the fear, the fear of being stuck there. And the Buddha's teachings. How did it happen? Because I had blessings. When you have blessings, you naturally run to things that are good for you. Because it's the nature of blessings. Very much like if you have money. Blessings like money. You know, when you have money, then as compared to poor, you go to nicer stores. Nicer restaurants, and you will get to be exposed to things that you, the poor people, don't have. Very, very similarly, I have the blessings. Uh, that's why I was exposed to those sutras that helped me get out of trouble at the right time. You understand now? No one helped me. It's my own blessings. So don't, don't be a cry baby. No, how come no one helped me? Why am I suffering so much? You're suffering so much. Plant more blessings. Stop complaining. All right? All right. So. When you get to these first heaven is the heavens of lesser vastness. Uh, uh, they, these beings here, uh, they no longer attach to joy and bliss.
And that's why they only have the spirit there. There's no more joy and bliss. Better yet, higher level of heaven is called the heaven of limitless vastness. Mm. And at that, uh, in order to get up there, you have to, uh, your blessings, uh, you have to plant a lot of uh, heavenly blessings that are lovely. Mm. And what they do is they also drop joy and bliss and they practice blessings. And virtue. Got that? Hmm. Yes, sir, in the back. To create blessing and to good conduct, are they the same? Karma 중에 선업 그 좋은 카르마가 있고 나쁜 카르마가 있잖아요. There are good karma and bad karma. 복을 짓는다는 거랑 대구 마이크 예, 복을 짓는다는 거랑 예, 좋은 카르마를 짓는 거랑 같은 의미인지 어떻게 다른지 다르다면 그게 궁금합니다. To create blessings and the good, uh, good karma. To create good karma, are they the same or different? There's a lots of ways to create blessings. 복을 짓는 데는 여러 가지 방법이 있습니다. To create blessings, the first thing you learn to do is to practice giving. To practice giving means that you take losses. And in Mahayana, we teach you, give you specific ways to take losses. You learn to give material things or wealth. The second form of giving is the giving of the Dharma. And the third kind of giving is giving of fearlessness. So in Buddhism, those are three categories of giving. That we practice over and over again, lifetime after lifetime after lifetime, endlessly. You can give more and more and more. Worldly people says, "I'll give you enough for us." It's never enough. If you enough, then you're stuck. That's a clue. You mind, he says, I'm giving it up. You're stuck. That's the flip side of it. Mm. And so you learn more about it. You're new to Buddhism. That's why you, as you go back to the Dharma talks and Sutra lectures, you go over those things. Okay. Uh, and then, and then once you have enough blessings, and you move on to other forms of practices where you're able to uh, create good karmas and avoid evil karmas. Okay, so that's why it's a progression, if you will. It's very precise in Mahayana. Yes. It's a, uh, for example, the Bodhisattvas, like Master Chung Hwa here in Korea, who would spend, spend his lifetime practicing morality. 
meaning meaning he led a very pure life you look at look at his uh, uh, his teachings and his life story his contribution to Korean Buddhism is not sutras in our world we don't look at him as having is a great lecturer okay but we look at him as an example of how to live life how to live a pure life and by doing that uh, you create a lot of blessings yesterday we had the refuge uh, ceremony and the five uh, precepts transmission if you are able to keep the precepts you also create a lot of blessings as well so there's many forms of many ways to generate blessings in Mahayana we are very sophisticated we know what it takes as compared for example to a Hinayana practice you, you, uh, you can look at how uh, the temple emphasizes what the temples emphasize for example to tell you what kind of Dharma they are practicing I used to travel around, visit temples and temples and temples everywhere. That's why I'm able to see that the difference in Hinayana versus Mahayana practices. Hinayana is two things. They offer food or help in the kitchen. Okay. Or meditate. That's the main thing for us in Mahayana. We help, we help, we help, and help. Okay, yeah. so that's why, and then, and then, not only, not only the the help with the labors and you know helping out and so forth, but also there is uh, meditation, there's mantras, the sutra lectures, there's. On and on and on and on. So Mahayana has many, many ways to for you to increase your blessings. Okay, that's how you cultivate blessings and virtue. Okay, the third kind of Heaven is a heavens of vast fruition. And so uh, it tells you, for example, that if you're at the heaven number two, you want to go to heaven number three, then you now concentrate more on practicing samadhi, practicing chan. And what kind of Chan practice in particular? This is why it's important to learn about sutras. That's why you monks and nuns eventually you want to be a teacher, you have to learn about sutras. First, I bring you to a high level okay, so that you can understand all these things faster. But when it's time for you to teach, you have to understand too where people are and how to help them. Okay, so at this level here, they practice Chan and what type of Chan in particular? Uh, the Chan practice here is, is it emphasizes uh, minimizing leakages, outflows. What are our flows? Mm. 
Och Ara Aflofs. Lo. Aflofs is Chinese from a Chinese lo. Uh, the thoughts leaks. Very good. Hmm, not bad for someone who's new to Buddhism. Mm. Mm. You are so special. <laughs> yeah, I thought you're improving so fast. It's so impressive. It's really impressive how now, you know, I, I know I remember like uh, uh, Jung there in San Jose with the head down there. He feels bad about himself. He says, why I struggle so much? I met Master 15 years ago. When people pass me by left and right. <laughs> Whereas now even, you know, he... He, he was, uh, I met him and, and, uh, and uh, he was a disciple of Master Shenhua, supposedly. Yeah. And uh, again, they came to me at first Diana, 15 years ago. Uh, after two months of learning Chan from me, he reached second Diana. Very happy about it. Oh, I'm so cool. <laughs> And several years later, I met him again because I went up to San Jose to teach them. But uh, after three months, I stopped teach. I went going. I stopped going because I ran out of money. <laughs> and uh, so he would uh, once in a blue moon go down to Los Angeles. So several years later, everyone's passed him. He's still second Diana. <laughs> See? Yeah. So this is interesting. You know, now we, people in, in the past struggle so much. Now newcomers make it to formless realms and form realms so quickly. It's really not fair, is it? Oh, well, not my problem. Hmm. Anything you'd like to say for yourself, uh, Jung? I, I absolutely agree with you. It's not fair, you know? <laughs> but that's how the way it goes. <laughs> yeah, now the newcomers are improving so fast. Huh? It's like I didn't, I, I uh, was so confused, I just dragged you along with me. Until <laughs> now we figure it out. Either that or these people have such blessings already. Hmm. Anyway, questions or comments? Okay, continuing. Um, so these are the verses. Yeah, 123. The state of the Buddha is inconceivable. <laughs> Unfathomable by any ordinary beings. Okay. One twenty-four. Buddha states. Is inconceivable. Inconceivable buka sui means that you cannot possibly imagine. Yeah, 
It doesn't matter how smart you are. You could be a genius. But it's no way for you to understand the state of a Buddha. And some is very hard for smart people, intellectuals to accept. So they there, you know, I met so many uh, professors. Monks and nuns as well who are professors. Genius professors. Brilliant professors. So it's very hard for them, for the smart people, to accept the fact that they cannot understand. Because they pride themselves on the fact that there's nothing they cannot figure out in this life. Which is actually arrogance and vanity. You can spend, ordinary people can spend their lifetime trying to pursue research or topic and will never be able to penetrate it. Never. I challenge you, any field, there's no way for you to penetrate it. There's not enough time for you. Okay, whereas Buddhas are inconceivable, he understands everything. Now I sound like a preacher. God knows everything, <laughs> all knowing, <laughs> all powerful. Believe. <laughs> okay, but truly. What we're talking about here is not asking you to believe. That's the difference. Because even your belief is not enough for you to understand. That's why it says inconceivable. There's no way to explain it to you. No way for you to get it. There's nothing we can do. Take that. That's who you are. If you have the blessings, you'll be able to accept it one day. Like Jung never could accept it. He's so proud. He said, I'm an engineer. Man, is nothing I can not engineer. Okay, so it's not what you think. Unfortunately, it's not what you think. It's inconceivable. Okay, next. Uh, unfathomable. Unfathomable here that you can you can you can measure it. You cannot put your arms around it. Is it some physical limitations? We run to some serious human limitations. That's what they're talking about. Ordinary beings are so limited. That's why there's no way for them to figure it out. Next, 125, he pervasively inspires faith and understanding. His profuse and joyous aspirations are unending. Okay, 126. Buddhas are beyond our class, beyond our us. Okay, but what does he do? To say the Buddha is unfathomable, Buddha is inconceivable, is not enough. He says, Okay, 
He wants us to also become Buddhas too. So what does he do? He pervasively, meaning everywhere, not just Korea, it's also Europe, Africa. I heard it very hot there. Maybe not. <coughs> Russia? Forget it. Okay. <clears throat> so, pervasively there, it means that everywhere. See, I just showed you that I have limitation. I'm not going to Russia. Are you crazy? Never. Not this lifetime. Maybe your generation, not my generation. Screw ups like this, you pay. Hmm? Evil has to pay the price. Evil must be punished. Hmm? Anyway, so what does he do? He he does not discriminate, he says everywhere. He goes to Russia too. Yeah. Uh, to do what? To inspire living beings to bring forth faith and understanding. You talked about faith, yes? Faith. What that's what the sages do. They try to increase our faith. Faith has gradations too. What about understanding? Why understanding? Yeah. Isn't it for proper view? Proper views? Okay, very good. Anyone else? Why understanding? Hmm? Yes, sir. Uh, understanding because they have uh, many layers, the level of understanding. Very good. Mm -hmm. Many layers. Okay, multi layered understanding. Yes. You can't force it like we teach children. They can understand so much. So we tell them so much and then let them play. Yes. Same thing. Buddha, same thing. He said, I will teach you so much, and then, okay, go play. Go. It's understandable. Hmm? Hmm. Very good. Hmm. Understanding here at the Chinese is, is uh, very, very uh, profound. Understanding here means yes, you understand intellectually. But actually, it also means something else in Chinese. Chinese speaking people, what does jie here mean? Not just understanding. That character she says uh, has including. Um, Dissect and uh, uh, disassemble, disassemble and dissect. Mm -hmm. Very good. Hmm. So, disassemble and dissect 
means that you analyze it. Yeah? 해체하고 분해한다는 건 you, 분석한다는 uh, 거잖아요. It's just like you you take a knife and cut out the uh, the 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 the, 칼로 잘라서? the the body of the frog. Remember high school days? 그러니까 어 고등학교 때 기억나세요? 이렇게 개구리. Okay, so you dissect so that you look closely. Yes. 그래서 so why would you do that? Because you want to learn. Yes. 배우고 싶은 이유. You're curious. You find it interesting. That's why he inspires us. He said, "Wow, this sutra is so interesting. The Avatamsaka Sutra is so interesting. I want to know more. Let me see. Oh, there's more. Whoa! This is so cool. 재밌다. Chapter one. 일장. Yes. Forty more chapters to go. 사십 챕터 더 있는데. How old are you? 몇 살이죠, 여러분? Okay, so but we we don't care, right? We want to understand more. We want to dissect more and more oh, yeah, and more, yeah, right? <coughs> Ten slides per week. 한 일주일에 열 페이지 하는데. Okay, what else does it mean? 또 무슨 뜻이죠? It piques our curiosity. That's why we want to understand more, right? Wow. Tell me more about the fourth yana. Yeah. Tell me more about the life in the heavens. Tell me, tell me, tell me. And the more you ask, the more he tells us. Huh? YouTube. YouTube. Thank you, Master. We have a response from Din Tai. Din Tai says, only with correct understanding can we have compassion. 바른 이해를 통해서만 어, 자비를 어, 가질 수 있다라고 말했습니다. Very good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, by understanding, can you have compassion? Mm -hmm. Yes, it's not just understanding. It's to have compassion, you must have wisdom. Unfortunately. 여러분이 이해만 해서 되는 게 아니라. 지혜가 있어야만 자비가 생깁니다. 사실은. Okay. Yeah. Unless you have really have wisdom. 여러분이 진짜 지혜가 있지 않으면. It's no point talking about great compassion. 큰 자비에 대해서 얘기할 필요가 없습니다. Hmm. All right. So what is what is what is also understand? What does the Chinese character also mean? No one is cheating yet. You guys are so. 이 한자가 그 코리아를 <웃음> 했자예요. Uh, if I were you, if I, uh, you know, in my younger days, I would immediately have this Chinese dictionary in front of me. So, oh! <laughs> 내가 젊을 때 같으면은 yes, go for it. 한자 사람은 앞에다 두고 얘기했을 텐데 바로 찾아보고. Uh, 지혜 also has the meaning of unbounded. Hmm? Un unbounded, like untie. Ah, 묶여 있지 않다. Exactly. Untie. Pull da. Untie. Pull da. I've been looking for something to demonstrate to you, but I have nothing here. I'm sorry. Hmm. I'm out of my elements. Usually I have all kinds of props, you know. Yeah. It's like a knot. Huh? You take a knot, you untie it. That's what happened to Jie. Jie, he is actually to untie, untie the knots. 그래서 매듭을 푸는 거 같은데. I think they it's a got it already, you know. Anyway, I should be I should bring more props in the future. 더 많이 준비를 해야겠어. I would have it. Where's my prop? <laughs> For lunch. Here, the Koreans. I want you Americans to know. Here in Korea, at lunch, they give me this mountain of snacks next to me. 한국에서는 점심을 드시러 가시면은 어 간식거리가 산으로 쌓여져 있습니다. No, only they serve so much. They put so much food on the table. I couldn't even finish it. 다 먹을 수 없을 만큼 음식을 많이 주는 것뿐만이 아니라. So to be honest with you, the last four years I've been here. 
지난 4년 동안 내가 올 때마다 한국에는 I don't even know what that uh, that thing has uh, that uh, push cart thing that has all the snacks. <웃음> I'm so full every single time. 너무 so, 배불러서 <웃음> 밥을 <웃음> 먹을 때마다 너무 배불러서 사실 그 간식 그왜 보산사 가면 하얀색 카트 거기 간식 있잖아요. 거기 뭐가 들어 있는지조차 모른대요. 너무 밥을 많이 주셔 가지고 Yeah, so I was so full. I uh, forget about snacks. You know. 너무 uh, 불러서, 이거는 뭐 no room for snacks. Yeah. So, so the key here is so to undo the knot. 그 매듭을 풀다라는 겁니다. Which is of particular importance in Buddhism. 그게 불교에서는 뭐가 중요하죠? Okay, uh, to undo the knots. 매듭을 푸는 거예요. Here. You he inspires faith and untying. 여기서 그는 신심을 내게 하고 어그 매듭을 풉니다. What's untying? What I want to untying? Are we talking about? 그 풀다는 건뭘 푼다는 거죠? Untying what bothers you, your own afflictions. 여러분 스스로 갖고 있는 번뇌를 풀어준다는 겁니다. What binds you? 여러 번에 묶어 놓은 to your wife. 아내한테. Funny to you? <웃음> Good thing your wife is never here. <웃음> okay. So you choose unbind yourself, and you you attach to her. That's why. That's why. The Buddha says unbind it. And you you say really? Would I be happier? 더 행복할까요? 맞아요. Okay, and he inspires you to unbind it. 그리고 여러분이 그거를 풀도록 Don't look so sad. 줍니다. 너무 슬퍼 보이지 마십시오. Okay, so this unbinding will mean you detach because you're so bound, so bound so tightly. To this knot here, which is kind of hard to undo. But Buddha says. 풀기가 좀 어려워요. 부처님이 loosen it, loosen it. 좀 풀어라, 풀어라. Okay. And if you choose to unbind yourself, 스스로 풀려고 결정을 하면은 you discover new horizons. 유, 발견하게 될 것입니다. 응? 응? Yeah. 응? <웃음> Huh? No, she meant pass the microphone to her, not you. She said, Chinsin gave her the microphone and said, No, 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 no. Don't draw attention to me. Don't make master call me. Hyunsin sent me a mic and said, But Hyunsin sent me a mic and said, Don't call me master and I'll call you later. I don't want master to notice me. Master will not notice me. Let him ask others questions. 다른 사람들이 하게 해주세요. Yeah, go ahead. 음. 아, 네. 어, 강설, 강설 하시는데 시간을 좀 지체하는 것 같아서 죄송하긴 한데 마지막 날이어서 오랫동안 갖고 있던 질문인데 어, 잠깐만요. 네. So I'm sorry that I might I might uh, spend time during your short lecture but I have this question for a long time. 그 묶여 있던 것을 푼다 그리고 이렇게 강하게 매듭되어 있던 것을 푸는 관점에서 어, uh, If we are talking about the untying what is tied for uh, firmly 네. 어, 그 마스터 법 덕분에 많은 사람들한테서 받는 많은 번뇌가 지금은 많이 없어졌거든요 so, 감사한데요 네. First of all, I'm thankful that the Uh, affliction from a lot of people have reduced in me. 그런데 여전히 어, 제가 원하는 게 너무 많고. But still, I have there are a lot of things that I want. 그리고 필요한 것도 많고. There are a lot of things I need. 그러니까 전에 말씀하셨던 그 무주 no dwelling. 예, 그거, so about no dwelling. 그거 그러니까 그것을 어떻게 실천할 수 있는지 I 궁금합니다. How to execute non-dwelling? 그러니까 이 어, 원하고 어, wants랑 needs 이런 것들을 원, wants 나의 wants. There are a lot of my wants. 네, 
니즈 이런 것들을 니즈 어, 어떻게 이렇게 매듭 푸는 것처럼 해 How can I untie 어, 자, 좀 자비, 자비롭게 말씀해 주시면 Please compassionately tell us <웃음> 불쌍하게 <웃음> 너희를 불쌍하게 여기셔서 t h e r e have too many wants and needs 네, 감사합니다 Thank you Help her 도움이 될지 모르겠는데 음, 제가 여기 그 마스터를 만나기 전에는 제가 원하는 걸다 돼가지고 한 가지 빼고 다 돼가지고 그 나머지는 이제 제가 다 원했던 게 이제 이루어져서 그런 건지 더 이상 그게 의미가 없고 그것 때문에 내가 계속 윤회를 하겠구나라고 생각을 해서 그런지 음, 그래서 내려놓게 됐던 어. 그래서 이제 그 사이클이 싫으니 사이클이 싫으니까 이제 예, 거래 그러니까 사이클이 싫으니까 이제 그걸 중단할 수 있었던 것 같아요. 이해는 매듭을 푸는 거는 okay, so there's a lot of materials on it. 거기에 많은 내용들이 있습니다. 지난 10년 전 동안 한 얘기. Maybe if nothing jumps out. 아무것도 보여지지 않으면은 그 내용 중에 It's because you don't have enough blessings. 거기 충분치 않아서 그래요. How come many people were able to do it and you can't? 많은 사람이 할수 있는데 왜 하지 못했을까요? And number two. 두 번째는 음, is that what's the key here in the question? 이 질문에서 가장 핵심 뭔가요? I have needs. 내가 필요성이 있고. I have wants. 내가 원하는 게 있다. Oh, I can't undo it. What does it tell you? She's full of herself. I, 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 I. 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 So about her. So now I want you to help me fix it. And then I help her fix this, and she says, I want you to help me fix that. I want you to help me fix this. You see? On and on and on and on. All right. Next, back to 126. His profuse and joyous aspirations are unending. Okay. Mm. I want to. I will explain it slightly differently than the ways it's uh, translated. Uh, I will point out to you that this is a Buddha state. What it's referring to is Da Yi, great aspirations. Buddhas are different from us because they have great aspirations. They are not only worried about me, 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 me. 
because the self is so tiny, is so insignificant, so unimportant. Okay, the Da Yi here is absence of the ego. What is absence of the ego? What is that state? No more small self, but the big self. You're doing it for everyone, not just your family, not just Koreans, not just women, not just LGBTQ. LGBTQ. <laughs> See, it's a mouthful. There's so many of them. More than Koreans. <laughs> Not just your disciples. It's all living beings. That's Da Yi. Is that I will not stop. When I help someone, I will help and help and help and never say, that's enough. We, ordinary people, want to help our families. That's important to us. Our friends, some relatives, most relatives are unworthy. Okay, but Da Yi here is that I will help and help and help and help. Okay, and that's why this, uh, not Da Yi, but Guang, meaning is, it's, it's vastly, okay, it's, it's, it's so vast, meaning it's unmeasured. You know, our mind is measured. We say, again, I said, we are only, we're going to do Korean things. We're going to do Vietnamese things, okay? Uh, one of the first things I was taught, I was taught, I was uh, told is that, you're not Vietnamese. You look like Vietnamese, and you don't behave like a Vietnamese monk. No, you, you don't care for Vietnamese. What kind of Vietnamese are you? So people are so stuck on categorizing. It's women's right, it's Americans versus Russians versus Chinese and so forth. Nonsense. Guang Da Yi is that he's so vast, so great. Da Yi is great aspirations. Guang Da is great and vast aspirations. Stop limiting yourself. Because of that, look. Because if you have vast, you have great aspirations, your bliss and your joys will also be the same. I admit to you, I don't like Russia. For some reason, I don't know why. And you know what happens to me? I refuse to eat Russian food. <laughs> and guess what? <laughs> Who's suffering? <laughs> Me! <laughs> Why do I have to deprive yourself of Russian food? Because I hate it. <laughs> See that? <laughs> I gave you an example of the opposite of Guang Da, vast and great. If you limit yourself, you also limit your joy and your bliss. 
If you only think of yourself and not Jagyeon, you will not experience her joys. See that? And that's the difference between Buddhas and us. That's why he has, he inspires us to have faith and understanding. We stop here today. Thank you all very much. It's been very special for me to be able to spend this time with you. Mwah! <laughs> I'll see you next time. Okay, we do a reverse transference.